Hey guys. Welcome to Freak Motion. Today we are going to create this. Without any further ado, let's jump into the After Effects. Let's create a composition with full HD settings as usual. You can name it whatever you want. Also set the duration to 4 seconds. First create a solid layer for background. I will suggest you to choose dark gray color. Let's import your logo or any PNG file that you want to use. Place it above the background layer and adjust its size and position according to your need. Now bring the scale and opacity properties. Go to 1 second and add a keyframe on scale, then come back to first frame and set the scale so high. Like this. Now go to 30 frames and a keyframe on opacity, then come back to 10 frames and change the opacity value to 0. Select all the keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease them. Now it looks good to me. Let's create another solid layer for our glitch effect. Now pre-compass this layer and make sure to check move all attributes. Now double click on this layer to open it. Select this layer, go to Effects and Presets, and search for Fractal Noise. Change the noise type to Block. Also increase the contrast value to almost 250, and decrease the brightness to minus 16. Open Transform, and uncheck Uniform Scaling. Now change the Width value to a very high value, something like 2500. and also increase the height value, something like 500. Now we are going to add an expression on evolution. The click on the stopwatch icon by holding Alt key and type time multiply 2500. By doing this it will keep moving over time. Like this. Now, let's go back to our main composition. Hide this layer. and create another adjustment layer. Also make sure you play is right above the logo layer. You can rename it to effect. Now select this layer and go to effects and presets and search for displacement map. Change the map layer to glitch layer. Now you can see that here. Now if you play with this value, you can get any type of glitch you want. I will suggest you not to increase or decrease the values too much, otherwise it will look bad. Now go to a random time and trim a small portion from this effect. Like this. You can always increase or decrease the duration of the glitch. Now select this layer and press Ctrl plus D2 time to make two copies of it. Then place them wherever you want to show your glitch. Like this. Take time to adjust them with your logo. You can also change the width and height values for dynamic glitch effect but I am keeping same for every layer. Now, let's create an another adjustment layer and rename it TV effect.
Go to Effects and Presets and search for Bad TV 2. Double click on this to apply it on the layer. Then simply change the wave height and width value to 3. Now, you can see a nice old TV effect here. And it really looks good to me. Let's pre-compost our logo layer. So we can add any image here to use like a template. Make sure to check move all attributes. Now make two copies of this layer by pressing Ctrl plus D. And change the name like this, first red, then blue and green at the bottom. Now select these three layers and change the blend mode to screen. Then go to effects and presets and search for fill. Double click to apply it on all layers. Now here it's time for magic. Keep the first layer same as it, red color. Then change the second layer to blue color. And change the third layer to green color. Cool, right? Now if we move this red layer, we can see different colors behind it. Now, go to the time where our glitch just about to begin, then press P to bring position property. Then add a keyframe here, just two frames before the glitch. And add another keyframe at the end of the glitch effect. Like this. Then go to middle of the glitch, and change the position slightly, like this. Select all the keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Then copy these keyframes and paste it over the time. Like this. Hit spacebar for ramp review. It looks good to me. You are free to play with the position values to make it more dynamic. Now if you want to reveal your original logo color, then just simply make copy of this layer. Place it on the top of the other three layers. You can rename it to whatever you want. Then change the color you want. Also change the blend mode to normal. Now drag the starting point to the end of our glitch effect. Then go forward to 10 frames and add a keyframe on color. Then come back to first frame and change the color to white. Now it will change like this. Perfect. You can change the duration anytime by holding the last keyframe. Let's wrap it up for today. Project file link in the description, don't forget to download it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give a thumbs up. And if you really want these kinds of cool tutorials then hit the subscribe button. See you guys in the next video. Signing out. Peace.